Hey, what's going on, Internet Sweaties all over the world? You know who it is. It's your boy, MS21, Mikey Savage 21. And unfortunately, today I'm going to be talking about a very controversial and very sensitive subject. It's something that's been brought to my attention, especially with me wanting to be uh, in the move me business one day. And so today, myself and my guests, we're ultimately going to talk about the me too movement that's currently going on um so getting to my guest you guys have heard him on the channel before this is his first time being back on since 2017 uh he was actually one of the ones that kind of helped defend me when my whole testify is dead video blew up which you know uh again sorry if i was offended anybody but hey you know it is what it is but hey neo space what's up man uh, nothing much and disclaimer warning for this video I don't give a crap so huge disclaimer warning for everyone what's going on world um I'm not as nice as Mikey Savage over here I, I won't apologize so that's their disclaimer <laughs> alright guys so today as you can tell from the topic we are gonna be talking about the me too movement the hashtag me too movement that has been going on and for some of you who do not know what the me too movement is if i basically had to describe what this me too movement is and this is just me kind of giving my brief thoughts on what it means to me it's basically a movement that has started for women who it felt like they've been victimized by men in power whether it's their boss or a, a employer that they possibly want to work to and this is in across all settings not just in the world of entertainment this is be teachers and within the school anything where you kind of have a boss uh, that has a lot of power over you and so recently especially with the harvey weinstein case breaking this movement is is basically supposed to empower and inspire women to not feel scared to come out and say that I've been a victim of blank 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 and then this is also again a way of letting people know that we're no longer going to stand for sexual misconduct against anybody but there's both some positives and some negatives to this me too movement i think my buddy neo space is going to focus more so on the negatives and i'm going to give my little opinion on what i think about the me too movement and just jumping right into it one of the main articles we're going to be referencing here is uh et online um posted an article that popped up on my news feed about james franco and um and it's saying that he's not uh, coping well after being accused of sexually exploitative behavior and five claims earlier this month and of course this is hurting his oscar chances because when these allegations come out you know people kind of want to sully themselves like with harvey weinstein kevin spacey you had him he was written out of the movie all the money in the world and was replaced with uh christopher Plummer. ultimately um baby driver's probably not going to get any buzz i mean it was a great film but it had kevin spacey all over it and then of course you had matt lore who has also had allegations come out against him as well and so one of the things that I really want to stress here with the Me Too movement is I'm not saying this to offend anybody. I'm not saying this to piss anyone off or to start up some controversy, but I love the Me Too movement and what it stands for. However, I do feel like there should be some red flags with this Me Too movement. The way it's basically being set up now is anybody could maybe look at you the wrong way or maybe accidentally brush up against you or something. And then now we're giving women the essentially the power to basically say well, he groped me or he touched me and uh, again a lot of the i'm not accusing anyone of lying or anything but i'm saying that people will take advantage of this women will take advantage of this whole me too movement that's going on and just start throwing out claims with absolutely no proof whatsoever and again this isn't something that can just go on in an entertainment world this is something that could go on in like everyday life like again out of school setting and even at church now again there's nothing wrong with giving people power and the freedom to speak their mind but we again we have to think about the red asterisks that go along with this and uh did you have something you want to say neo space uh, uh yeah i think this whole move probably just gonna wind up being a bunch of feminist bullcrap later on down the road just if i'm being dead honest somehow every single movement that starts off as something good involved like blown out of completely but no i, I get what you're saying man again and me being brutally honest like 
like I said, to me, what bothers me the most about this is we're essentially giving people the opportunity to make false claims with absolutely no proof. And we live in a society where you're judged before you're even put before an actual court or a jury. We, we actually do not believe in innocent until proven guilty. We just automatically assume guilty. It's like if a woman comes out and accuses me of something. It doesn't matter if it's true or not. It's been put out there now. And the thought's going to be out there. And now people are going to look at me differently and, and treat me differently. And again, some men rightfully deserve it. If you are a man in power and you are using it to uh, sexually exploitate women or men or anybody with that power, then you deserve what's coming to you. But I'm saying like some of us guys are going to get kind of thrown into this. Let's just say we happen to make our girlfriends mad. Well, because of this whole Me Too movement, she could now go and say, well, he did blank, blank and blank. And that's not necessarily true. And then cap it off with the hashtag Me Too movement movement and saying that he's trying to silence me well now that that claim is out there i'm going to be considered guilty whether she has viable proof or not because we live in a society where it doesn't matter if you're guilty or not what ultimately matters to most people is hard it's not even hard hitting evidence it's just it's out there now someone has said it about you so it must be true because we apparently don't lie as humans it's just welcome it, to the internet yeah, welcome to the internet where you can say anything you want to without any kind of repercussions whatsoever. We have and now become someone, keyboard warriors. Someone will think it's legitimate. Someone. And see, and again, we're not, you know, trying to poo poo all over the Me Too movement because I think it's a good thing. But one of the things that I want to quote here with James Franco is he admits that he can actually do away with these allegations with viable proof but he says that he doesn't want to do that i don't want to silence them i don't want to shut them down any in any way i think it's a good thing and i support it and so it's the same i feel the same way with james franco i support it and i understand it but at the same time we also have to look at it as like if someone's gonna make a claim then you have to have some evidence and just saying well my homegirl validates that your homegirl could lie i mean look at what happened with team 10 when they tried to accuse phase banks of apparently assaulting somebody they all lied lied and they got on national television and lied but because it was put out there everybody was so against phase banks it's like well if he's guilty i mean these girls got on national television so it must be true they don't lie on television yeah like the news doesn't lie to us all the time it's a bunch of bullshit but that that's just me that's just me but like i said with this me too movement there's an asterisk beside it because we are essentially giving people the ability to come out and lie whether they have facts or not and say that such and such did this but i feel like i've i've talked most of this discussion andrew i want to get your full opinions on this uh, again unfiltered uncensored say exactly what you need to say again i've already warned people ahead of time for going into this video so they know what they're getting so go ahead man let 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 the gates of hell open up as they say well man the me too movement is one of those things that i classify as total feminist bullshit that's literally all I can classify as. I really hate to pull it into that. That's what I'm to. If you think about it, if, like you said, the advert maybe pushed her one time, you're going to see hashtag me too. It's going to destroy the whole movement. It's going to victimize a lot of innocent people. It's going to make a lot of the accusers look really, really stupid. It's probably going to result in a lot of hurt feelings and a lot of whiny people. And as we know, I hate those types. Of <laughs> There's really not much I can say on the movement. It's good for the people eyes too. I'm just more worried about the people that are spewing crap. Pretty much every other movement that's got people come in, people ruin it. Like I said earlier, I hate those types of people. I hate people that ruin good things. Well, it just, it makes me drag down and makes me stress out. And I'm sorry, next thing you know, I'm going to accidentally step on my cat's tail one night and he's going to be on Twitter. Hashtag me too. Like, where does it end? Where does it stop? Like, I understand the real case is that's just what I'm worried about, is all the stupid shit that's going to come out of this. And pretty much all the things that are going to make me lose gradual amounts of IQ points. Which, it's 2018, I had a very high IQ back when I got tested. This year, combined with 2017, all the crap that's been spewed is just slowly dropping my IQ down. So I just, I don't know how much more of this crap we can take. Like, what's next? Seriously, literally, what's next? 
I, I know exactly what I'm hashtagging though. Hashtag save Dragon Ball Super 2K18. It can't end. It can't end. I'm not ready for this. But back to the main topic. The Me Too movement is going to turn into total bullshit. But for the little bit that it's going to help people, more power to it. I hope it keeps going. And to pretty much everyone that gives me shit for this video, just fuck off. Please. But okay guys, you've heard my thoughts, you've heard Neo Space's thoughts about this whole entire thing. Now it's up to you down in the comment section below. Let me know exactly what do you think about the Me Too movement. Again, let's keep it civil down in the comment section. Again, we just wanted to just bring up some red flags and some asterisks that goes along with this Me Too movement. Again, I fully support it and understand what the purpose of the Me Too movement is. Once again, I've never had a claim be put up against me and if I I ever do have a claim put up against me then you best believe that i'm gonna tell the truth if i have done something to violate someone's rights or done something to make someone feel uncomfortable i'm gonna own up to it i'm not gonna sit here and lie and try to bs around about it but at the same time i feel like i don't think someone should be able to make false allegations against somebody without any proof besides the the word of a few friends i mean you have to have some hard-hitting evidence if you really want to do this and that's the same way we look at it in the court of law they have to have hard-hitting evidence to convict you right well same thing here you have to have hard-hitting evidence but again, man, thank you so much, Neo Space, for uh, coming on to the video with me. I really appreciate it, man. He just actually started up his YouTube channel. It should be up and running here pretty soon. Um, he's got his first video up. We're still in the process of getting him set up and everything. His laptop actually just died on him. He's going to try to salvage his hard drive and do the best that he can. But you know how it goes with technology. Again, there should be a part two to this video. Um, again, I wanted to get a female perspective on on this so i'm having a, a female friend come on and give her thoughts and her opinions and about it if it's not attached to this video then it'll be in a separate video and i'll make sure i use the appropriate titles and everything and let you guys know but thank you all again so much for checking out this video again leave your thoughts down below on what you think about what we said again let's keep it civil thank you as always and as i always say later y'all this has been neo space claudian thank you y'all have a good night Hey, what's going on, sweaties all over the world? You already know who it is. It's your favorite internet sweaty, your boy, Mikey Savage 21 asking you to do me a huge favor. If you don't mind, make sure you go to www.youtube.com forward slash Mikey Savage 21 and make sure you subscribe to the channel. Again, I post weekly movie reviews, let's play videos, vlog videos, and sweaty discussions on the various topics that you all email into me at official ms21 at gmail. Again, we also get a little bit of insight into who I am as a content creator, why I ultimately created my YouTube channel. And again, we talk about the various hot button subjects and topics that are currently going on in the world today. So again, guys, if you are interested in anything that I have just mentioned, please make sure you go to the top and make sure you hit that subscribe button. Again, thank you all so much for checking out this video. Hope you all enjoy. Hey, what's going on, sweaty savages out there? You already know who it is. It's your boy, MS21, Mikey Savage 21, whatever the heck you want to call me. And this is the part two that I mentioned to you guys that I was going to be doing. I got a female on here. I got my girl, Amber Cross, on here. She's going to be speaking on this whole Me Too movement. You heard Andrew's side. You heard what I had to say. You're going to get a little bit more of my thoughts, but we're going to focus more so on her thoughts. So, Amber Cross, say hey, what's up to the sweaty savages out there. What's up, sweaty savages? Hey! <laughs> Finally, somebody with some energy on here. You need to get up with my man, Neil Space, because Neil Space, sometimes I feel like he ain't got no energy when he does his introduction. He just be like, I'm Neil Space. I yell. I rant and say things. No, I love you. I love you, Neo Space Man. But it's good to have you on, Amber, uh, to, to, to talk about this Me Too movement. I really wanted to get a female's perspective on this so I could make sure that everybody's fairly represented on this podcast slash video. Man, I appreciate it. Look, like I'm like I'm a white girl with red spiked up Super Saiyan hair. I got to have some kind of energy, man. So, you know. Oh, so you're a Super Saiyan God then basically and you know i ain't even really watched dragon ball z my youngest brother did i just know what super saiyan and the whole hair sticking up and the kamehameha but i don't i i'm just gonna stop before i embarrass myself if there are any dragon ball z fans out there listening because 
uh, yeah, girl, really don't know what she's talking about. I just know some of the lingo. And that's not what we're here to talk about. It's okay. (laughs) Hey, it's okay. How in the world do I get from talking about the meet me subject? Meet me. Huh. Like I say, I have meet me on the brain. How do I get from talking about the me too subject to drag them all? That's what we do here, guys. When we do a sweaty discussion, when we do a vlog video, you never know where we're going to go. But all right, Amber. What do you think about this whole Me Too movement? I actually kind of just, you know, brought it to your attention yesterday. It's something that a lot of people know about, but not people aware of. And for the readers who apparently skipped the first couple of minutes um, where I explained what the Me Too movement is. Basically, the Me Too movement is this kind of movement that's essentially trying to empower women to speak out against men who have power over them, who have used that power to sexually exploit them or use that power to get favor and returns you've often heard about the casting calls and uh, the couch calls where you uh, go to a specific person's house and ask you to do favors in order for you to get this particular part and then with the whole whole Harvey Weinstein thing being busted wide open uh, with Kevin Spacey getting busted wide open with Matt Laura getting busted um, and then we have a whole slew of other male celebrities who have come out um, and got outed out but we've had some males as well you know take part in this me too movement as well and like i said in the last part i support the me too movement but you know like i said in the last part there's some red flags to this um i love the movement i love the platform but i feel like certain people might take advantage of this platform and might use it just to make up false claims and false accusations just to garner attention or just to spite somebody that they don't like and so that's why i say you know it's a good thing but it's also a bad thing in terms of you never know what someone's going to do with this platform yeah that's a good point because anybody on twitter or any other social media they they see a hashtag and they immediately want to jump on the bandwagon because nowadays that's what everybody's chasing what the new fad is what can i be involved in because everybody has some kind of deep meaning for like a purpose and they want to be a part of something whether it's relevant to their lives or not they just want to be a part of something and i agree with you on the red flags where there could be women that just come up and speak out on um false allegations that could be somebody accidentally brushed up against them you know, on the street or something, and like, and, and it might just so happen to be a coworker that they're, you know, seeing out on the street or something, or even at like a, a bar or a party or anywhere, um, and make false allegations. And it's not fair to the women who have actually been through something like that, um, because. Everybody wants to jump on what's hot and and popping right now. Right. And it it's it's such a shame for those who have actually been victimized by men. I personally thank God have never been victimized by um any men of power anywhere that I've worked. I've been at the same job coming up on on 10 years and um it's a it's a law firm i'm not going to disclose the name but um the the lawyer uh he he could not be we all joke there's all jokes and stuff like that we're one big family we joke sometimes some of the jokes you know skirt over the line but no one takes offense to that because it's we all have an understanding that it's all in fun and games. There has been no situation where anybody has been assaulted or uh, propositioned or anything. This man that I work for would go to bat for any of the women that I work for um, in my workplace and, and even for the men who may have been falsely accused, um, in my workspace. Um, and, and, and thankfully, like I mentioned, nothing like that has happened to me before. Nothing like that has happened in my workspace. Um, I haven't personally known anybody that is gone, that has gone through 
something like that. But um, if you have legitimately gone through something like that um, from a man of power that's over you, that you might not get this job unless you do this, or you might not get this role unless you do this, or whatever the case may be, do not be afraid to speak out because mm -hmm. you are just as human as a man is human. We are all made in in God's image, you know? And women, you know, in the Bible it talks about, you know, that God made men from the, the rib of Adam, but that makes us a part of each other. So we should not be treating at men or women because this role could be completely reversed. Women could be doing the exact same thing to men, you know, and, and a woman in a position of power could, could take advantage of a really kept to themselves kind of gentleman and use the same kind of tactics. Um, and that, that upsets me being, being a woman to, to know that knowing that there are women out there who have done the same thing that, uh, men have done to women. And then they want to, they want to cry wolf or, you know, try to seek justice about things like that. This is a serious matter. This is not a time for people to be throwing false accusations accusations or just to jump on a, ba a bandwagon because there's a hashtag in front of it there this is a serious situation um and it can be taken much farther than just being propositioned by by men or women right exactly of power and god forbid that it go any farther than that but it's it, women out there if you have ever been genuinely and just propositions or victimized by any kind of men of, of power. And I don't mean some accidental brush up. I mean, legitimately have been victimized. Do not be afraid to speak out. There are people on your side. The, the, despite what the news portrays about the human race, not all of us are heartless. Okay, we care about you. You have a voice. You were given a voice, and that voice is to be used to speak out and to tell your story because your story could be the one that saves the life or the integrity of another young lady out there. So you never know who you are speaking to by speaking out right and and, and, I, and i i second everything you basically just said i think you just perfectly just said exactly exactly how i feel about this type of situation and, and one of the things i mentioned when i was talking with my man neo space is i felt like um like if someone was to ever come out and make an accusation against me um like if i've done something then i want someone to call me out on it if i you know have abused my power if i have used my platform to to get certain things out of people whether it be male or female someone call me out on it and you know i'll make sure i take responsibility and i I think that's one of the other things with this me too movement is taking responsibility if you are that guy or you are that woman that has used your power in the past i'm not just saying hey you might want to out yourself out but you might want to be prepared for when the shots start firing your way and just accept it gracefully like one of the people that i think that has been like a champion through this whole thing so far as um james franco uh one of the things i can say about james franco is he has had these accusations come out and and his friends say that he's not dealing with it so well but in terms of like how he uh when he's on television or how he appears he's not like all upset about it and everything he's not like going buck wild and trying to throw shade at these women he's saying that yeah i can defend myself but he's like i don't want to take their voice away from them and so i feel like 
again, if you're a man or a woman and you've had that power for any number of years, then you need to kind of check yourself like seriously, because eventually it's going to come back to bite you in the behind. You know, uh, again, they always talk about karma all the time. Um, and, and karma can be a real legitimate thing. Sometimes it can come back to get you. I've had karma come back and get me several times, but you know, that's how I feel. Uh, that's how Amber feels, but you know, ultimately we want to hear from you down in the comment section below on this subject of the me too movement. Do you side more so with Andrew where he's just like, not necessarily against the me too movement, but he just has a little bit more more anger towards the me too movement because maybe he's had an accusation come out against him at one point like i've never had anyone accuse me of anything because most times i end up telling on myself um if i've done something to offend somebody i usually take responsibility for my actions hey you guys saw when i did my testify is dead video some of you got real hurt about what i said so i made a sincere apology of video and then got on stage and apologized again and I sincerely meant my apology. And so I, and one of the things I also mentioned is I don't like to apologize when I'm wrong, but if I'm wrong, I'm going to have to suck it up, be a man and just apologize. But yes, like Amber said, if you are a woman who has ever been through that type of situation, know that you do have people out there who legitimately have been through the same thing, who care, who want you to get your voice heard, who want you to ultimately come forward and say something don't feel like that you have to continue being put down into the ground and same thing with men don't feel like you have to continue to be put down into the ground just because you want to keep this certain job and and thank god also from the jobs that i've had i've never had to be put in that type of situation nor do i have any friends that i am aware of who have been through that type of situation and me being someone who like has been in the music industry uh, in the at the independent circuit and kind of somewhat at the major circuit at one point or another I, I've heard, you know, stories about like, hey, you want to make it in the show business or hey, you want to get signed to this labor, right? What you know you're going to have to do, you're going to have to come in this closet and you're going to have to do what you got to do. I've ha I've heard about stories like that. And I think I might have maybe one friend who has maybe like gone through that whole entire thing. But luckily he came out of it unscathed and just was just like, no, this is just too much for me. But yeah, let us know down in the comment section below. What do you think about this Me Too movement? Do you support it? Are you against it? If you are against it, let us know down in the comment section below. Amber, thank you so much for coming on. Uh, do you have any social media plugs so that people can keep up with you on all the social media platforms? Yes, I would be happy to do a shameless plug. Um, yeah, John like can't be a reference. <laughs> I, uh, my name is Amber Cross. I am a musician, a singer, songwriter. Um, uh, you can find me on facebook.com slash music by Amber Cross. You can find me on Twitter at I am Amber Cross. And you can find me on Instagram at Amber Cross underscore music and YouTube at youtube.com slash Amber B one, two, one, zero. And, um, Mikey, real quick, I want to, I want to add something, um, to this whole, uh, thing and I know this 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 the Me Too movement has been um, m mostly around 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 women and as I am for the Me Too movement that that is a, a legitimate you know victimization of somebody right. and encouraging women to come forth men if you have been a victim of the exact same thing for from a woman in power, do not feel like you are any less of a man coming forward by expressing the exact same thing because we are here to back you up because at the end of the day, we are all souls. At the end of the day, and, and according to God, gender does not matter. We are all souls that bleed the same and, and, and whose hearts beat okay whether you are a man or a woman who have been legitimately and i have to express legitimately been victimized of this especially men because i know sometimes men can be a little prideful and i don't mean that to sound harsh in the way that it that it sounds coming out of my mouth but sometimes men have that demeanor of oh i've got to be a man and suck it up 
No, guys. Dude, seriously. I, as a woman, have your back. If you have been victimized like that, come forth. You will not be looked at as any less of a man. If anything, you will be looked at as a stronger person for coming forth despite how you may feel as a man. In my opinion, that makes you stronger as a man. And like, like I said, this this Me Too mo this Me Too movement can fall on on both genders, and I'm for it as long as it's a legitimate cause and not just something for mainly women to jump on and say, "Oh well, my boyfriend did this back in 2009." Blah 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 blah. No 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 no. Don't. Don't try to use this as some kind of platform to make yourself look like a victim when you're really not. Because there are women and men out there who are actually being victimized by this kind of thing, especially in corporate America. We might not see it, but it's happening, and it is real. And I support both men and women who have been victimized by this to speak out. We are here for you and we have your back. If it has been a legit um, you know, threat to your life or your job or anything like that, we're on your side. We, we've got your back, no matter what. Right. Well said, Amber. I couldn't have said it better myself. Well, guys, Sweaty Savages, I appreciate you tuning in for as long as you did. Again, make sure you go follow her on all the social media platforms that she mentioned. Also, we're going to make sure you follow my man, Neo Space. I'll make sure I have both of uh, their plugs down in the comment section below as well in the description as well. Hey, guys, if you haven't heard, I got a new single out called Riding Through. I don't know if y'all have heard that thing, but I've heard the thing is fire. From, from what Amber said, the thing is fire so if you guys have not had a chance to check it out or had not had a chance to cop it go ahead and check it out it's available all across the streaming sites as well as the downloading sites i would really appreciate it and hey i got a lyric video and possibly a music video coming out here within you know the next month or so thank you as that always song is on fire i'm serious check it out y'all <laughs> See, I need her as my as my hype man, as my hype girl. I need I need I need to hire you as my hype girl because the last one I had wasn't wasn't that hype, wasn't that hype at all. Man, you saw me perform at Adrian's. You saw how hype and get, man. So, you know, I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> well, Abra, thank you again for coming on. Thanks for having. Me. Oh, no problem. Anytime I'd be able to have you on. And thank you all for watching. And as I always say, later. Peace.